Welcome to Thriver TV, the place to break free from narcissistic abuse with quantum tools and understandings. Welcome to 2020 and I hope that you've had a wonderful holiday break. For our first Thriver TV episode this year, I want to help you create an abuse-free year and life going forward. If you've been able to leave the narcissist in your life and you feel fearful of connecting with toxic people in the future, I really want you to know toxic people who are effective at being toxic are not immediately recognizable. You may not pick them. The ones that aren't high functioning can be easy to detect. They can be overtly inappropriate, arrogant, and quite frankly, dysfunctional. These generally are the ones who are not the most dangerous. Toxic people who are very capable of infiltrating people's lives and smashing them to pieces are not like this. They're generally consummate actors who are extremely good at winning people's uh, trust and their hearts. So how do you identify these people? In today's video, video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how you will not only suspect these people, but flush them out in a way that keeps you totally safe. But before I do, I want to thank all of you who have supported the Thriver mission by subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I'd like to remind you to please do. And if you enjoy this episode, give it a thumbs up. Okay, so let's take a deep dive into how to identify toxic people. And I want to start off by asking you this question. Are you an injured gazelle or a robust bison? And you may wonder what animals have to do with this. As an analogy, they can explain a lot regarding how a narcissist targets an individual. My analogy regarding an injured gazelle is this. It's a person who has gaps, who has susceptibilities to being ensnared and taken down by a predator. Whereas an individual who is a robust bison is too solid and anchored in its integrity, in its own body and energy to be susceptible. Please note, it simply is not true that anybody can get abused by a narcissist. Let me explain. If you are feeling empty on the inside and carrying previous hurts that you haven't yet reconciled, you can be as susceptible to a charming con person coming into your life, pretending to be the savior of your emptiness, fears, and what is missing, as you would be to diving into a mirage if you were dying of thirst in the desert. I promise you that I'm not saying this to victim shame you. I'm saying this to help empower you, just as this total understanding about myself and my own life to help me awaken to understand that I do have power in these situations and that I had handed it away. I now know as a recovered and thriving individual when you take personal responsibility to heal and resolve your previous traumas and accept the gift of your own evolution and have become a solid emotional source to yourself, then there is no need for you to let people come into your life immediately. You will take your time to get to know them and assess their character before merging with them in ways that puts your heart, emotions, body, and even resources on the line. If a narcissist cannot find a way to infiltrate your life and snare you as a source of narcissistic supply to start mining your energy and resources quickly, it's not worth the effort. There is much easier prey to target and feed on. It truly is up to us to heal ourselves up from being an injured gazelle with a limp at the edge of a pack to becoming a robust bison who will never be a target. Now let's examine how this works in regard to identifying a toxic person. So we're going to check out 
by being yourself powerfully, you repel toxic people. The true way that you will recognize whether someone is toxic or not before it's too late is because you simply don't want to play with them or they leave your experience because you, they can't get you to. What I mean by this is the following. You will be anchored in your integrity, unafraid to ask the difficult questions if something doesn't feel right. You will be able to speak up and lay boundaries and say no if something feels uncomfortable for you. Also, and above all, by standing in your rights, by taking your time to get to know somebody before letting them into your heart, body, bed, finances and home, you will see behaviour that is off in regard to a toxic person. They may try to test your boundaries to see if you really mean them. They may have conversations with you that are not respectful and allowing you to be a solid, mature individual taking your time. Narcissists cannot stand not getting the instant hit of narcissistic supply. They need to escape their own tormented energy at every opportunity by entering into and enmeshing with and then draining somebody else's. If a narcissist can't get you to ignore your own boundaries, hand over your rights and the bounty that he or she is after very quickly, they may try to guilt you into it. They may bait you, threaten you with abandonment, or appeal to you by claiming that you're making a terrible mistake and risk, and you might be losing a golden opportunity by taking your time. If you have healed yourself up to become a solid, mature adult human being in your own body, you will know that this is baloney, and there is no way that you will capitulate to it. It is then that the narcissist will unravel and then just disappear. It's game over. You have asserted your true self and true life that the toxic person is no match for. And therefore, as per quantum law, so within, so without, this person simply cannot be in your experience and won't be. Does it even matter whether or not you identify that this person is a toxic individual and that you've dodged a bullet? No. You are simply living your life powerfully and authentically from the inside out. If you haven't yet healed your original traumas and unmet wounds that are not allowing you to be a whole individual integrated in your own body healthily, then you may mistake this as you being abandoned or unworthy of this person. Or maybe you obsess that it's something that you have done wrong and you should have let your boundaries down rather than risk losing them. Maybe you will now go after this person and reel them back in. Can you see how important it is to do the essential inner work on yourself so that you're no longer susceptible to handing away your power and betraying your own values and truths and putting yourself in grave danger to a sociopath? I hope so because the understanding I just shared with you is everything. So let's look at the truth about identifying toxic people. The truth is that you can't identify toxic people in a way that will keep you safe because your focus on them is not the way to achieve this. If you haven't as yet turned inwards to discover what your gaps are and what you need to heal within yourself, no matter what you try to learn about toxic people in order to remain safe from them, they will identify your gaps, charm you and infiltrate your life just as they have always done to people. The deeper truth is this, toxic people come into our lives as the real outer life evidence of our already unmet, unhealed, existing inner wounds. The reason that these people come into our real life experience is so that our unconscious traumas can become conscious. 
so that finally we can turn inwards, meet them, release them and go free from them. It's a much better, healthier and more fulfilling system if we realize the truth about this and self-partner to do the work that we've always needed to do. That way, no longer will we be the injured gazelle with a limp at the edge of a pack as a ripe target for a predator looking to steal our soul, energy and our life. So here is the truth. You're not going to identify toxic people. It's actually impossible. Rather, you are simply going to ascertain and work with the only being that you're able to control yourself. Then you will become healthy and whole and powerfully, magnificently impervious to toxic people. Do you understand this? If so, right below, I'm going to heal and become magnificently impervious to them. Write it below and mean it because that's who you have to be. Okay, so it's time to become impervious. I know that in all of my episodes, I'm really saying the same thing over and over just in different ways. But I have a feeling that this particular episode may really finally hit home for you. I hope it does. If this is the case, then you may be ready to do the inner work to clean up your previous traumas and gaps, to leave behind your abuse patterns and your fear of abusers forever. And I mean forever. If it is your time, and there is no time other than now, then come with me, heal and start becoming another thriver in this incredible community by joining my revolutionary healing, healing program NARP by clicking the link at the top right of this video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified as soon as each new one is released. And as always, I'm so looking forward to answering your comments and your questions below. So until the next one, keep smiling, keep healing and keep thriving because there's nothing else to do. Lots of love. Bye bye.